Good morning, children. Okay, as promised, the story for today is the elephants and the mice. Okay, as I started in the class today, more than one elephant we call them as elephants, and more than one mouse we call them as mice now what is the difference between a rat and a mouse rat and mouse look alike but rat is bigger in size and mouse are smaller in size okay so let's start let's begin our story so once upon a time there was a beautiful city filled with huge palaces and lot of temples now after a few days the people in the city started moving to other kingdoms and they left the city empty along with them their pet animals the domestic animals and all the animals also traveled except for the mice now the mice loved the city a lot so they stayed back in the city now very close to the city there was this huge lake and the water in the lake was really sweet so the mice started living in the city and they were dependent on the fruits and vegetables that grew in the city now slowly the family of mice started growing there were a lot of grandfather mice there were a lot of uncles and aunt mice there were parent mice and there were also baby mice now they frequently conducted uh festivals get togethers just like how we do right so the all the mice would get together on a weekend and they would cook they would have fun they would merry they would sing they would dance they would do everything they kept themselves really busy and happy now very far away from this city there was a forest in which many animals lived among these animals there was a group of elephants one summer the lake in the forest became really dry and there was no water left so the queen of the elephants decided to move from that place in search of water and they had heard about the city and the lake which is near the city and the water in the lake is very sweet this is what they heard so what did the queen of the elephants do she called all the remaining elephants now a group of elephants is called as a herd so she called her herd of elephants and she told them let's move to the other part of the city where we can get to taste the sweet water so they moved and they came to the city now the minute they came to the city they saw this huge lake now it was many months that they had proper water so the minute the elephants saw the lake and the water the sparkling water they were so happy they started running they ran to the lake and started drinking lots and lots of water but unfortunately while they were running they killed and they injured many mice which were moving around in the city now one of the old mice who also happened to be the king of mice he saw what had happened and he was heartbroken he thought oh my god so many of my mice have died under these elephants foot so he slowly approached the queen elephant and he told her queen this is what has happened okay the queen turned back to see that there were a lot of dead mice and injured mice she also felt very bad and guilty so she told the mice i'm really sorry please tell me what we can do so the king of the mice told the queen when you are going back after drinking water please form a single line and walk so i will instruct my mice not to go into that lane the queen followed the king's advice and they left there peacefully now again and again the queen and her herd would come back to the city to drink water now once what happened was when the queen were, uh, and the herd were at the lake drinking water a hunter who also happened to report to the king saw the elephants and he remembered the king's order to bring as many elephants as possible for the war in those days elephants uh, used to carry people to the wars 
So the hunter got really excited and happy. So he lay nets before the elephants could come to drink water. And after the elephants drank water, they all got trapped in those nets. When the queen elephant saw this, she immediately went to the king of mice and told him, Mice, we need your help. So the king ordered, the king of mice ordered his fellow mice to go and bite the net. Now, we all know, right, the mice teeth are very strong, especially the front two tooth. So all the mice went and cut down the net. So this way they freed the elephants and both the elephants and the mice became friends. So the moral, the moral of this Panchatantra story is that we all should help each other because there is a saying which goes that uni unity in diversity. It means we all should help each other and live in harmony. That's all children for today's story time. Bye-bye.